Hi everyone, uh, thank you for coming to our Open Doors Realist. Every week we do this Open Doors. It means that anyone who like Realist or who want to know more about our company, what we do, how AI works, a lot of things, how to better invest in real estate. Uh, anyone welcome. You can come to us, see the team, see the company, how it works and speak like of the records, what we really think about Dubai. UAE market, etc. So thank you a lot so for your time and thank you, thank you very much. So thank you for your time that you spend it with uh, our team. So just know that this open doors uh, uh, usually end at like 2 a.m. or something like this. So be free to escape this this open door in any time you want, or just stay how much more, uh, time you want here, okay? So it's up to you. Fine? Good. So today we're going to speak about... Today we're going to speak about AI, how it works on our platform, how it's different uh, versus some algorithms or versus calculator, okay? What is the difference between calculator and AI? And how it's going to change the markets in real estate very soon in Dubai, UAE, and all the world. Also, I'm going to show you some new features. We launched this week 30 more cities in a world with analysis, etc. I'm going to show you some new updates of Realis. Every week we do something, and every week we share our updates, new features, and what we have done before for the week, not just for the whole time, every week. Okay? So before uh, I will jump to the story about what is AI and how people are going to use it and how it's going to change the market, let me show you uh, some updates of Realist. Now people, uh, you are able to see uh, not just UE market, what's happening, what the prices, neighborhoods, a lot of things. But now you are available to see at Realist 46 cities around the world. Just today we launched Singapore, Seoul. And, oh, I just click Istanbul, okay. So Istanbul also is available on the platform. So you can go up, uh, up to the atmosphere. This is all cities now available. We have launched this week 10 cities in Germany, 10 cities in France, two cities in Austria. Uh, do I pronounce right this city, uh, this country, Austria? Austria. Yeah, good, good. Uh, I'm not good in English, so sometimes I, I can mis uh, say something wrong. So now, guys, you are able to see, for example, Berlin. Let's go to Berlin, click Berlin. Oh, I clicked Leipzig, sorry. Yeah, so now it's super easy to understand the prices in Berlin, like what is the most affordable? I'm so sorry about this downloading, the internet in this room is like awful, so we need to wait a little bit. Yeah, so now easy just, uh, everybody can understand what is the most expensive neighborhoods in, 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 sorry, in Berlin, what is the most affordable? It's freezing. 10 times, right? Like 10 seconds after I moved something. So I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna speak slowly, okay. So now you can have a look. Purple are the most expensive neighborhoods and blue are the most affordable. And also you can click this button directly on the platform and see the most affordable neighborhoods like Berlin, Schiemen, Schlusstadt. <laughs> Uh, has the price like 300, so uh, 3,400 euro per square meter. You can convert it now in meters, in feet, in used uh, dollars, in Chinese uh, currency, and a lot of things around. And now you can compare these neighborhoods with the UAE or uh, another market. So now our AI is covering 46 cities around the world. And this is more than 4,000 neighborhoods. So each city is splitted by neighborhoods and we track 
what the prices on these neighborhoods are. And you, like now, it's possible to come come make a comparable analysis between exact neighborhood in London, Berlin, Paris, or different cities, and exact neighborhood in Abu Dhabi or Ras Al Khaim Sharjah or, Abu Dhabi, or Dubai. So it was before impossible. So nobody has done it in lifetime, sort of in real time. So once you're able to see the data right now in neighborhood. Now, because of a little bit AI and more because of statistics and our beautiful developers, now it's available. This is the first platform in the world that just is uh, show for free to the audience uh, more than 40, 45 cities around the world, not just in one country, but in a lot of countries. Guess what? Uh, till the end of this year, we are going to launch approximately 100, 120 cities. So it's be possible to compare all the prices around it, around the world, and just see what neighborhood are better. Also, uh, let me show you one thing. We have launched not just uh, this neighborhood and the prices. We also launched, maybe let me show you in London. We also launched for each neighborhood in this city forecast after one year. What is the trend? The prices are decreasing or increasing. So it's not so accurate for now because the system now is self-educating on the data. But now it's possible to see like you take some neighborhoods in uh, London and see uh, like what is happening. Is decreasing market or increasing market? And like AI thinks that the prices on one year on this location are going to decrease by 2.3%. So now it's available forecasting for 4,000 neighborhoods around the world. That's what we have done for the last week. So it's just a one week iteration. Uh, yeah, and let's go like slightly to what is AI and how it works. And do people, can people trust it or is just a marketing thing or just a black, black, black box thing, okay? So let me just explain what is AI, what is real AI, and what is just imagine of AI, okay? So in general, AI is the software that can resolve, can solve some not algorithmic problem. So it means that it can not just can solve it, but it can solve it better than average human. If you have any kind of software that can solve not algorithmic problem. I'm going to explain you what is mean algorithmic problem. Not algorithmic problem or uh, some task and do it better than average human. For example, pass some exam. If you have a software that are able to pass some exam, it's now general AI. So people can discuss what is AI, what's not, what's real, blah, 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 blah a lot of stuff. So now if you have software that is better than average human in some not algorithmic problem, this is AI. So simple. So what is algorithmic problem? So calculator definitely is better than 99% of humans. Uh, OK, I'm sorry. It's, still, <laughs> it's kind of lag. So calculator is much better to okay. Imagine the calculator. <laughs> it's much better to solve algorithmic problem. So it's kind of rules that inside the software that works much more uh, clever than average people and more uh, more efficient than ninety nine percent of people. Just less than 1% of people can calculate better than calculator. But it's algorithmic, algorithmic thing. So it's possible to make it algorithmical. So this is not AI. That's why nobody thinks that uh, calculator is AI. But in like 40 years ago, 50 years ago, calculator was a miracle. <laughs> so people don't care what inside the AI and how it works, if it works. And they call it magic or something like this. So like how works GPT, nobody knows exactly. So probably I know because I'm in deep tech, in deep AI, and maybe like 0.1% of people know exactly. And others just don't care. They just use it and call it magic. <laughs> that's all. So that's 
the difference between real AI that helps people or can solve any al not algorithmic problem better than average human and calculator, this algorithmic thing. But calculator can't estimate your apartment. You can do it manually, but you can't ask calculator to estimate your apartment. But AI can. This is the difference. Let me show you one interesting thing. So this is the one of our products that's already launched, but we do not uh, marketing it. So we do not uh, say about it in public a lot. So for now, we launched it four months ago, and we have more than 3,000 apartments already downloaded. So people are downloading their apartments to track the prices. What's happening with the prices on specific apartments? Let me show you how it works in 10, like 10 seconds. Uh, and here on this portfolio, you can see all apartments that now I am tracking. So I track my apartments, my friend apartments, my clients' apartments, etc. And this AI tracks daily the real market price. That was impossible before. So probably you have never heard about software that tracks daily your prices on real estate as a stock market and show you the graph. That's what's something different that AI is changing. So AI makes the real estate market closer to stock market, very closer to stock market. So now people are going to track this real estate daily. Let me show you how it works. So we can plus, uh, push the plus and uh, see in your apartment. So let's take the current building, this apartment where we are. OK? So and by the way, I do it first time. so. It's live demo, everything can happen, right? 23 Marina, uh, Marina Tower, that's here. Okay, let's go to the next point. Uh, so AI knows that this building is 2005, uh, handover. So it's quite good, but it's not like some magic, okay? So square feet, hi. What do you think about, so what is the square feet of this apartment? This is a three bedroom apartment. It's like 100, 1,500 approximately, right? Square meters. 3,000. 2,000. Yeah. So just uh, don't count this, like a balcony. What? 2,000 is approximately okay, I think. Two bed, three bedroom, 2,000 apartment. No, kind of, kind of things, right? Six of 10. Okay, let's try. So what do you think is the real market price of this apartment? Four million dirhams. Okay, some guesses. So in real, now we are waiting like AI is collecting all DLD data, comparable analysis data from different buildings for now. But do we want some truth? AI have made it for 0 0.1 second already. You know what? We have slowed down this <laughs> downloading because once you show to people in 0 0.1 second after they click the result, they just don't think it's real work. They think it was prepared before so we slowed down this downloading thing, so, and we calculated that if people uh, wait for 10 seconds, up to 15 seconds, uh, they just uh, give the value on this result a lot. So the conversion rate grew two times. But if they wait more than 30 seconds, they kill, kill it. This is a kind of trick. So let's see. The long-term rental of this apartment is going to be 200,000 dirhams. So this is a rental thing. The 12 months liquidity, it's approximately 5 million uh, dirhams, but 12 months liquidity. So AI just, not just saying to use the price, AI of realist has to calculate this price and show you in terms of liquidity. So this is a kind of cross of liquidity and the price because you can just try to sell it high, but you're going to wait for a long time. Or you sell it a uh, short time and the price is, is different. So our AI shows liquidity versus price. And this AI has to say that just don't wait that this uh, apartment are going to sell fast. <laughs> so it's going to take long to sell this apartment. And this AI explains a lot of things. So building rating is B+. 
it means that it's also what AI is making. AI makes ratings. What buildings are what classes? What uh, uh, pictures of uh, your apartment? What is the uh, stars like 10 of 10, 9 of 10? It's making algorithmically. That's what AI makes. It's not algorithmic task. And it's not calculated. That's only AI could make. So B plus, it's the building kind of like this. It's something similar. So in terms of classes of the building, we have A plus like Burj Khalifa because it's unique building. And go down, go down, down by classes like A minus is the simplest possible building in Dubai. This is about the class of the building. So our AI identifies what is the class of the buildings based on the amenities, the views, the pictures, and different things like street views, all this stuff. Okay, because with help of, well, of a human on the, on the beginning, it's not just click and done. <laughs> we need to teach it before, like teach the pictures about the city and after it works good. Okay, it also showed me uh, why the uh, rental price is so and why the selling price is so. I can click search and alternatives. It means that show me uh, why it's about approximately 5 billion. There is AI and explainable AI. It's two different things. Just AI doesn't explain you why the result is so. It just show you. If you want estimation of apartment, like a black box uh, could say you're like three million and nothing. So in terms of explanation, in terms of uh, estimation, people want to see explanation because this is a very reasonable and value question about estimation your apartment. It's not just writing a word, a word and writing essay. So it shows you that this is the deal deal transaction. Sorry. So this is the deal deal transactions on buildings kind of this. It was like, what is, the, uh, uh, what is the date of transactions? What's on the market right now for the what price and what is the exposition days? You see it exposition days here, right? So this apartment like, uh, oops, sorry. So this apartment's like on the market for 8 million uh, 500. Hi, please join. Yeah, yeah, please join, takes it. Uh, and it's on the market already 51 days. So if the, per, if the star is red, it means that the AI thinks that this listing overvalued. It's not a market price, so it's gonna be for the market for the long time. It's gonna be exposition days for a long time, okay? This is the first thing how AI works. And realist AI has to explain you why each number. It's not 100% accurate in 1000 transactions or something, but in many cases, it's more accurate than 99% of agents and realtors and experts on this market. And this AI, if it's better than a human or it's, if it's better than an expert, the coolest thing about AI, it's scalable. So that's why we have done statistics analytics about one city. And in one week we launched 20 cities because AI model is already ready for working. You need just feed it by statistics, uh, analytics uh, and data from other, uh, other markets. And this model starts to ed self-educating. This is the difference between models. That's why I have to say that the next 10, day, so 10 days, the next 10 years, it's gonna be a huge market for models. Models are gonna make everything in pricing, in uh, maybe, that, maybe a stock market also, but in real estate, 100%. So it's gonna be models that are making anal analytics, not experts, not realtors anymore. Realtors could be a wonderful people who speak with you once you are choosing the house to leave. Like what is a good air, good like restaurant, it's realtors. But calculating ROI, making real rental analysis, and cetera, realtors are not uh, gonna make anymore. Three years and almost zero realtors are gonna make it. Only for living, self-living and like aspirations and all this stuff. This is the real work of realtors. Investment in real estate, it's not the real work of realtors. 
So in Dubai, like every real, uh, each realtor is like an expert in ROI, like estimations, etc. But in real, that's not true, right? So it's gonna die. It's gonna die 100%. AI are gonna smash it all, like disrupt this market at all. Let's go to uh, one interesting thing about AI. Before the AI, it was impossible to understand what neighborhood you should pick for specific uh, task in terms of investment. We need to do much better interface. It's a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. OK, I'm going to use my in-house AI in AI. <laughs> So let's pick the city, Dubai, uh, click next step uh, for investment. OK, rent. OK, let's go deeply. This is my price. OK, let's show me Dubai. Sorry? So sorry? Yeah, it's stacked. Uh, I can do something. <laughs> That's my wonderful production team. AI company. <laughs> Our sponsor is Bollywood. <laughs> Good? Yeah, Andrew, could you please track this thing? Because I, I can't. Uh, OK. So before the AI, it was impossible to say what is neighbor, what is exact neighborhood is better to buy real estate to rent it out. So each realtor says, like, this or this, but they can't prove it. So a lot of opinions, a lot of people, a lot of gossip, a lot of things about, like, the Mac built uh, awful buildings, so maybe not. So a lot, of th a lot of gossips here. So now it's available to click here, choose rental yield, and understand the whole city. So I have showed you how we estimate one apartment in rent and price, right? So what does AI of realist now? It estimates daily 2 million apartments across the 46 cities. That's how we can calculate what is the, pro what is the rent average of building, what is the rent ROI of neighborhood, what is ROI uh, average in city? And by making this comparable analysis, AI makes ratings. It means that now it's possible to understand the, all, the market, all the market in minutes and choose the best one. So the purples area, areas is the most interesting areas for buying something now and renting. So the coolest area possible to buy something now and rent it is Hor Al Ans. I have never been in there, right? but this is the most affordable prices versus rent in the whole Dubai. Also, you can click show me top three location. This is a top three location. This location, this location, uh, Jumeirah second, probably is gonna like take into account apartments and uh, villas. And this location. So what is it? I have no idea. Investment park. Top three locations with net uh, ROI from rent is 8.9 average. This is net ROI after service charge. So, and it based on analysis of thousands of apartments. That was impossible to do before the AI because no man in history could understand so much data and keep in mind so much data and all price different and because one day developers sell for the lowest price the next day developers change the price right so you are not able to track all these changes daily for the whole market but the AI can that's the difference between what software could make and what people and expert could make it's just the, like a showing about uh, rental yield. 
This is the model behind the rental yield. Understand the rental yield of this model. We also have forecasts up to five years. So what is the most interesting locations in Dubai in terms of buying something? And what is the most poten big, biggest potential? These 10 locations are the most interesting locations for, for long-term investment. AI can predict the future. So we can predict like AI is the worst or like, I don't know, shutting down COVID, it's impossible to predict. But based on current data, current tra trend, current uh, laws, current use, and everything what we can, what we're able to collect in one system, and we are collecting tons of information in Dubai, believe me. So we are collecting all local news, all new infrastructure, all current infrastructure, all uh, prices, all developers, all uh, listings uh, in uh, websites, all DLD data, a lot of sources. What is the most interesting based on all this data now? And what is the maximum, or oh, sorry, not, what, what is the potential, reasonable potential goal for now? These two 10 locations. So if tomorrow uh, just one a huge meteorite is going to crash the Dubai, it's going to affect the whole market. But this 10 location is going to be better. <laughs> OK? In terms of all possible data now existing, it's, it's the better, best choice. But the second thing, what AI makes, it reflects the changing of the market daily. It's something like so when you have a look at NASDAQ index, NASDAQ is changing daily, right? So like by minutes, it's changing. But real estate market is changing slow. The pricing are changing slow. The demand could falling down and the predict the prices based on analysis of demand. Because if the demands fall down, the pricing are gonna change on the market approximately from six to 12 months. But how to track his demand in like a real time is a key, is the interesting thing. So in Realist, we are tracking Excel and PDF files of a lot of developers. And we're tracking their inventory, what's happening with inventory in real time. This is before ZLD, this is before government resources, this is the up before. Like there is a gap between the real what's happening with the market and pricing and demand and what's going to reflect in the government resources or in mass media. If you see that the market is falling down in mass media, it's too late. In real, it's already happened. So AI uh, are going to make rich people uh, because of two things. So we don't think that it's possible to predict the future. I can show you like a lot of stuff here. So it's not all that we have done so far, right? So for example, you are able to click here and what is the most interesting location in terms of access to parks? Like in percentage. What is the percentage of greenery and parks in each location? Click top three. This is the most greenery top three locations. Like Arabian Ranches, I believe. Yeah, Arabian Ranches. And these two locations with the Gulf, so it's kind of greenery thing. So also you can click top 10 or show me all. And for each location, AI calculates the percentage of greenery around. So there, there is just 2.3% of square, of square in downtown is greenery. So it's nothing, okay? So people can compare. Now the layer about the greenery, access water, rent, et cetera, are gonna be able, are gonna be available in 46 markets, maybe more. It depends on how much resources we are gonna make, how much uh, efforts we are gonna make. By to the end of this year, I go approximately 15 to 50 cities uh, are gonna be fully packed by analytics around different players. So what I want to finalize this idea about AI. Now AI is changing the whole market. Like real estate market investment, real estate markets are gonna, uh, will change very fast. Consumer markets in real estate are gonna change slowly, much slowly. But investment side are gonna change very fast, several years. 
Now, uh, investors use just 0.1% investors uh, use AI in uh, decision making in real estate. In two years, it's going to be 90% and more. So the advantage is so huge once you start to use it that before you used Excel, or so before you used experts or some research, research of companies, right? So the huge advantage is so big. So it's going to change the market in two years, investment side, in terms of residential real estate. Commercial is a little bit different. Consumer markets are going to change in the next two years close to nothing. But investment markets are going to change dramatically. In UAE, 100%. Let me show you one interesting thing, okay? That's just an interesting thing. Uh, do you know about the service Google Trends? Like you can see the trends, what, what people are asking, right? Uh, let's see just Al Nasir, okay, AI. Let's see just AI. And for the whole worthwhile. And uh, not past day, but past 12 months. So it grew high, right? But let me show you one interesting AI real estate. So it grew dramatically, right? But what do you think, which country in the world is the most interested in AI and real estate? UAE, 100% interest. The second, Australia, Canada, the United States, UAE 100%. What do you think, why? Because Realis is here. <laughs> because we have published a lot of things about AI. That's why UAE on the first place in terms of interest about it. So, so that's why UAE is gonna change markets very soon. So like, Today, we have like 5,000 real estate agencies and 90% of them is focusing on real estate investment around the world, just in UAE. In two years, real estate are gonna eat more than 1,000 agencies. So it's gonna happen anyway. No competition. Uh, it's going to be more transparent thing. So investors are going to check any information. So if you have a realtor, a realtor send you and say, this uh, investment are going to make you 7% ROI, blah, blah, blah. Investors go to realist, check it. So it's going to make transparent uh, market more transparent. Yeah, sure. Oh, it's so easy. Uh, if you were Russian people, so all Russian people I know about real estate today in Dubai. We have spent uh, more or less than $300,000 for this. So for now, we, so now I'm speaking English, but before, like uh, two months before I was speaking, uh, I was speaking Russian. So now it's easy, like step by step. But very soon you are going to see in Instagram, YouTube, a lot of uh, mass media about how people use AI, how it's more different in all reels, all stuff. So it's going to be everywhere. Also, we have covered all mass media, local mass media, etc. So we are going to cover all, all uh, social media very soon. And after it's going to be like direct uh, messaging, direct advertising. Now there's retailing going on. And uh, how do I identify on the project itself, on that area? So which project will give me my ROI in terms of forecasting? Yeah, sure. Sure. You go here, you see locations, you see click projects, and all projects in Dubai now live here. Sold out, pre-launches, everything now appears here daily. And for many projects, you also can see not just ROI, all this stuff, 
but also you are available to see all four plans on the map, all available units for uh, by floors. Give me a second. And what is going to be the view from your partners? So right here, you see it? So this available units uh, on some specific building. This is going to be the, the view. So we digitalize very deeply a lot of buildings for now, and we track daily inventory. So on this platform, you're going to see what's really available or from 100 and more developers in real time. That's already done. Also, yeah. uh, we're not focusing on some areas. We just uh, follow what AI says. We double check it, of course, before we make a recommendation or something. The most promising area in Dubai for now, Shoba Heartland. One of the most promising area in the whole Dubai because it's going to be launching the lagoon, blah, blah, blah. Let me show you. So I'm showing you Shoba Heartland, right? So you go here. You click show, show me the unit, available unit. And AI just has to make for you forecasting and explain you why. So this is a kind of forecasting thing. You see these errors? So AI now predicts uh, the downturn in 2028. <laughs> it could be right, could be wrong, but it's just AI. But now the, for, the lot, for the next five years, it's going to be wonderful investment because of these errors. So you click here, the construction of road or something like this. Click here, this is a handover of this building. You click here, this uh, one uh, mall or launching the lagoon. What, what is it going to be as a launching the lagoon? What time, what quarter, what quarter, what month, and what year? And how is it going to impact the pricing? It could be on this time, or it could be delay, right? We don't know yet. So once AI understands that it's going to be delay, some news, publics, or information is going to reflect the prices uh, the, same time, the same day. This is a key thing. So you can predict the future, but you can take into account all information possible for now. This is what you do like a real estate investors. You track real estate, you try to pick the top 1%, you try to escape from the market on time, and uh, you try to reduce the risks. Like how you reduce the risk? You make a uh, uh, checklist, right? Is it a good developer? Yes, no. Is it a uh, project on delay? Yes, no. And a lot of risks, right? So AI already made it for you like 90% and more, it's already done of work. The rest 10% you need to go yourself now, of course, to double check it 100%. It's not, this, uh, it's not AI that you can rely 100% with a closed eye just clicking, but in several years it could be. In several years it could be. Yeah, now we, if, if we recommend something, we double check it. So we, have, we make a lot of streams in YouTube, in English and Russian. Every day from our office, people like uh, experts of us and myself, we are speaking about real estate, recommend something or just say don't invest in this and explain why. So before we say it, we double check, of course. But like 90% of information and uh, many times more, it's more accurate and it, this system is much more clever than each of us for now, that's for sure. It's a more intelligent system than I, I am. And I have done 300 deals. And zero was in minus. In Russia, here, a lot of things. Uh, land, apartments, 300 years. But this system more intelligent than me. I, I double check and sometimes I, I see the mistakes or because of lack of data. But after this lack of data is going to disappear, it's going to be the most intelligent system. Much like now it's more intelligent 98%, 99% of experts, I, th I believe. We can't compare, like, we can take 1,000 experts and, like, let's make a competition. But it's my expectation. Uh, so I think it's going to be uh, more, okay? Thank you for joining this event. Thank you for your time.